In this episode, we dive deep into South Jersey and we'll visit Henry's Hot Barbecue. We'll meet South Jersey barbecue queen Ruthie. She'll tell us the backstory and how she got started with her late great husband, Doug. We'll get into some fried chicken, some St. Louis style ribs, and there's a catch. You gotta be very patient. They make all the food here very fresh. So step in, you'll see the walls decorated with accomplishments. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get it going. Hey, I'm Ruthie, the latest South Jersey barbecue queen. Me and my husband started Henry's Hot's Barbecue 13 years ago. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my husband, a great man, in December, but I'm keeping our dream alive. We have amazing brisket, uh, pulled pork, uh, St. Louis style ribs, as well as uh, barbecue chicken. And our fried chicken is the best in South Jersey. Looks valid, B. Got the thigh, got the drumstick, and I got the mac and cheese. Let's do this right here. Chicken, the chicken look crazy. I, I'm not gonna lie, the chicken looks amazing. Look at that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Spider-Man. Spider-Man, say what's up. Say what's up. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go. Ooh. Worth every wait for that fried chicken. Uh oh, we got a storm coming in. Mm. The seasoning on this, bruh. Look, I'm not even mad no more. Until you try this fried chicken. Mmm. Let me try this. HSG, what does that stand for? Honey spicy garlic. Honey spicy garlic. Let me try the honey spicy garlic. Mmm. Mmm. Little sweet, little heat, right? Sweet heat. And the sauce is like thick. That'll stick onto your ribs. Or your chicken. Or your chicken. <laughs> All right, you good? I'm good, thank you. Y'all okay. already know. I, I'm like, this food gotta be amazing. So far, the fried chicken, the chicken, the dark meat chicken. When I bit into that, the, the savory, the robust like herbs and spices, from this spot just like literally filled up my, like ballooned right into my senses. I feel better now. Let me try this mac and cheese. I don't know what this is, but I know it's black pepper in here too. Y'all see? Damn, that's cheesy as ever. It's cheesy as ever though. I don't know if, if it's baked or not. I don't see no crusty top. Mm, mm. Oh yeah. Heavy on the fresh black peppers on this one. This must be barbecue style. Look how cheese that one. Yeah. Delicious. No, so far, so far the chicken is amazing. I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna bite again. This this chicken was too amazing to not try the thigh. I want to try the thigh. That fried chicken is different. That fried chicken is special. And I don't mind waiting for fried chicken like that. Let me tell y'all, I do not, I do not mind that at all. 
That fried chicken, some of the best fried chicken I ever had in my life, Miss Ruth. Juicy. I love it. Juicy. juicy. I taste the seasoning. Yeah. Uh, the Colonel ain't got nothing on y'all. All right. <laughs> Thank you. So y'all been here for what? Thirteen years. Yeah, thirteen years. Wow. Yeah. So what? What do people? What? What brings people in the door besides the food? The atmosphere. Yeah, definitely. The atmosphere. Um, we always play a lot of funk and uh, motel music, and my people are phenomenal. So the service is superb. Me and my husband. Um, he was a police officer in uh, Florida. And then he um, came back to New Jersey um, to be closer to his mom and um, started working in corrections. Um, he retired in corrections in 2008 and that's, in, and, and that's when we both got started. We okay. used to use different types of um, smokers. Uh, in 2000, 2018, I purchased this, which is considered the state of the art um, smoker. Um, I use cherry, I use hickory, oak, and apple wood. This thing holds 500 pounds of meat. This is where we do all of our smoking. 500 pounds. Yep. My husband was a, an amazing man, and I wanted to create a holiday for him. So his holiday is every year the Sunday after Easter. And last Sunday was phenomenal. We probably have 400 people here. Over here, just want to peep. This is this is my uh, what I call the the dugout. My husband's name is is Doug Douglas. Um, and this is what we created. It's a great spot. We had a live band here. Uh, you could rent. We have plenty of parking back here and as well as in the back of this building here. It's a great, it's, it's really good for families, extended families, medium-sized parties. No, it wasn't easy. And, you, you know, people had to get, get to know us. Um, and when we started, we only had like 10 customers. That would be all week. So it was really tough. Financially, it was tough. Um, so, and then my husband kind of hung, hung in there. I was working full time. So because I was working full time, we were able to subsidize a lot of what we did here at the restaurant. Um, so it was just tough, just kind of building and getting your name out there. So it wasn't until like the fifth year where we really started to turn that curve and started to build a great customer base but we love our customers, we have great customers. My husband was all about quality. Never sacrifice quality. Um, if, it's, if it costs you more money, you gotta charge more money. You can't cut back on the quality. Um, he, was, he, he, was, uh, he was in the military. Um, he used to say there's no crying in barbecue um, and always do the right thing. Always do the right thing. We are never the same when someone we love leaves us but we also never know how strong we can be. I can see her struggle. I wish there were words I could have said to console her, but in reality, she just needs time. And in the meantime, she's gonna carry on her husband's legacy through the food. And all we can really do is just enjoy the time that we have with each other now, because we never know. Perfect, thank and you. there's an extra plate um, for your son to Damn. Thank you. The cornbread. Y'all see? That looks amazing. Y'all see that? <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Feels like a cake. Y'all see? That looks good. You wanna try this out, buddy? Okay, so it does, it still crumbles like a cornbread. I thought it was gonna be like cake consistency. Y'all see? Got some butter on it? Let's go. Cornbread, cornbread, cornbread. Some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. Mac and cheese is good. Mac and cheese actually complements the chicken. Chicken is a star, man. Potato salad. Tangy. Got mustard flavor in here. Red, they use red potatoes. So this is the brisket, burnt ends. I like the bread. First off, that bread looks sturdy. Y'all ready? Sturdy sandwich. It's a lot of brisket in here, a lot of burnt ends.
smokiness. <clears throat> nice smokiness to that brisket. Coleslaw is sweet. Kind of remind me of a, uh, almost the texture remind me of KFC in a way. Do it just like that. It's a hefty sandwich. The brisket is good. Only thing I wish they put like a pickle in there, but then again, that's like, I can always add a pickle. Last but not least is the ribs. St. Louis style ribs. Looks good, right? Looks good. Dipping into this uh, hot barbecue sauce. That hot barbecue sauce. Real good kick to it. Real good kick. Look, you see the peppers in there? Got the pepper seeds in there. Really good. Here we go. So we got the ribs here. I've been going for tenderness and smokiness. I'm barely digging into this, huh? Ribs official. <laughs> Ribs are official. Mm. What is this, right? A lot of corn in here. I don't need a corn muffin, corn pudding. Mm. Wow, that's a lot of corn. That's a lot of corn. Let me show y'all. Like corn in every bite. Nice mild sweetness to it. That's fire too. That is fire. Let me go in for another rib. This thing is super juicy and tender. <laughs> oh. All right, let me wrap this up because it's starting to rain. I'm gonna tell y'all like this. Come here for the ribs. And I believe this is pork, so if y'all don't eat pork, then you might want to call in to see if they do beef. I'm going to rank it like this. That fried chicken, ribs, the brisket sandwich was cool. It wasn't like the best I ever had, but it was cool. The sides, this corn uh, pudding, whatever it's called, was good. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. I wrap this up, buddy. Yeah, let's wrap this up. Henry's Hot Barbecue. A good joint here. Good joint. Um, that was some of the best fried chicken I ever had. Come here for the fried chicken, if anything. Make sure you're patient, because the food is worth it. That fried chicken was worth it. The ribs to me, just good solid ribs. Brisket was okay. It was, it was solid too. Um, Get the fried chicken. That's it. <laughs> thank, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.